Saudi Arabia, mass execution of 37 men, mostly from the Shia community, convicted in unfair trials. So, yeah, this was a lot in the news lately. Um, because the Saudi Arabia is supposed to be our ally. Um, Who's ally? So, you're from <laughs> uh, the ally of the United States and several but you're other not, but na We're not from the United States. I'm from Canada. You're from Netherlands. I know. <laughs> yeah, your your country has actually taken a very good, uh, brave stance. And, not uh, brave. Canada didn't take a brave stance against Saudi Arabia. They, they only started taking a brave, so-called brave stance against Saudi Arabia when it became pop. Uh, when it become you know more popular to do so after like all the people being killed in Yemen was not like enough to make it popular to be anti-Saudi Arabia but <laughs> Khashoggi like okay yeah. now you cross the line now you cr now you <laughs> now you killed a semi-westerner now it's popular now people start talking about it and Canada like okay we're gonna take the brave stand I mean better late than never I guess but go on sorry yeah no yeah, that's a, that's a good point that's a good point yeah. so Human Rights Watch has said that the government of Saudi Arabia announced the mass execution of 37 men on April 23rd in 2019 in various parts of the country. At least 33 of the 37 were free from the uh, country's minority Shia community and have been convicted following unfair trials for alleged crimes, including protest-related offenses, terrorism and espionage. Terrorism is a favorite in Iran. The, yeah. fav the favorite go-to crime for for uh, take for taking away political uh, for killing political um, you know uh, protesters is spy. You're a spy in Saudi Arabia. Is you're a ter you're a terrorist or something like that. But okay. this is a very anti. I think this this is a very anti-Iran move. You know, Saudi Arabia is very very paranoid about Iran's influence using the Shia ideology in Saudi Arabia. Uh, mm -hmm. They're getting more like like they're even recently they took they killed some of their um, most popular um, uh, Shia leaders. Um, yes, there was a cleric executed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know this is it's getting worse and worse. This is actually this thirty-seven at the same time. This is even for with Saudi standards. This is a uh, uh, this is pretty uh, barbaric. Uh, I mean, and also as some of these some of these people that were arrested, the crimes that they the so-called crimes that they committed were done when they were minors, right? And um, and yeah. some of them, some of the 37 men that were uh, killed, like the, the trials was a, f was a fucking joke. But they, they, did you know that they actually crucified them in public for other people to see? The, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't yeah. do that. So a few of these 37 men were actually crucified in public so people could see them and make, like, to scare the people that uh, other uh she has that might might want to one of them will almost ran away isn't that in the su in this uh in the summary no the the like the article from human rights watch does mention that uh that some of them were beheaded yeah but some of them were also crucified um yes one of them was almost boarding a plane jeez to go to united states oh wow. And he knew he was the the one that was going to the United States uh, before he was arrested. He was arrested in so this they, they recently got it all executed, but he was arrested in 2012, and he was supposed to attend uh, Western Michigan University. Wow! Yeah, this is fucked up, man. Yes. Um, yeah, well, it really makes me think of the the woman who uh, escaped to the Philippines, but then was arrested by her uncles and taken back. Yeah. Um. That's uh, she. She was dragged back on the plane. She was was bound, tied, and her her uh, was uh, her, her mouth was uh, was shut, and she was was dragged, kicking and screaming back on the plane. And uh, yeah. most people now think she's dead. You know, I want to um, have a discussion with Night Nightmare Fuel is in our live chat right now. I, I, I go check out his YouTube channel. It's very good. Um, I think me and him have some um, foreign policy disagreements on some of these stuff, and I would like to have a discussion about him with um, because this is uh, this is something I think United States uh, gets really uh, wrong, especially with Saudi Arabia. I mean, if this was done by Iran, um, United States right now would be all over this, and rightfully mm. so, right? Like if mm -hmm. something like this was done by Iran. 
um, I, I I bet you the U.S. government will be uh, talking about this a lot more uh, than when it's Saudi Arabia. Like this is this is fucking barbaric. This is some ISIS level shit. Even even um, Israel is not going to take a stance against this because Israel and Saudi Arabia are also not cooperating. This just shows that like a lot of the so called this is this this makes it very difficult for fighting human rights abuses in countries like Iran and other places because no, no, every time other civilized countries want to raise the alarm about for uh, Iran's human rights abuses. They're not going to have enough credibility because they let Saudi Arabia get away with shit like this. Right? Yeah. So even if you want to take an anti-Iran stance, please call out Saudi Arabia because if you don't, like take legit actions against Saudi Arabia because if you don't, when you try to take a position against Iran, people are going to point to your hypocrisy and your, and your actions against Iran is not going to get... In, is not going to get anywhere because people are like, well, Saudi Arabia did the same thing and you guys yeah. didn't say shit about that. Not only you didn't say shit about that, you, you rewarded them with another arms deal. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's fucking, it's, it's insane. Um, again, this is something I would, um, I would like to have a discussion with Nightmare Fuel on, on his channel or on our channel at some point because I, feel, I really, I, I really, I do follow his uh, videos. Is he has some really good videos? Uh, but let me see. Subham is saying being a, a Saudi Arabian citizen should be considered a free pass to become a refugee in other countries. Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe a woman Saudi Arabian. Um, there, there's actually many, many hundreds of uh, Saudi women trying to leave the country right. at the moment. They're, they're, uh, it's becoming a more international coordinated effort. So right now there's two women in Georgia and there's also two, two girls in Hong Kong. Uh, but those are only the, the high profile cases. There are many, many more that we don't hear about and usually they don't uh, receive enough attention to get the, the, the diplomacy going. Right. Um, so it's it's, uh, it's it's quite difficult, but it's it's getting more of an uh, well, kind of an industry really to to escape Saudi Arabia, and uh, yeah. there's a there's good reasons for it. Um, I was so Beach is also saying Beach is confirming that one of the people that was arrested was, um, so when what they call terrorism was just people protesting. Okay, so that's Saudi Arabia's definition of terrorism. And Beej is also clarifying that w the person, when he was arrested, one of them was 16 at the time. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.